Josh, hello? You were talking to the cops? Hey, no cops here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we got a couple of Priuses going on. Prius gang? There's like 8,000 and one in the garage. Hell yeah. Yep. Welcome back to another vlog. Today we are with Josh Ello and we are destroying his WRX in the best way possible. Uh, the boys got some lower control arms, right? All the lowers. All the toe arm, traction arm, camber arm. And we're getting tilty. He's got the new Johnnies. Bro, these things look fly. Ag Agle Struci. I didn't realize they were SSR. Yeah. Those are gas. They're what? What size? 18 by 10 plus zero, five inch lip. What about minus zero? Either one works. <laughs> <laughs> these are gas though. And, ooh, and uppers. What are these? What brand are these? P2M. P2M. Oh yeah, I think it is P2M. Phase two motor trend. Yes, sir. Let's get tilty. These Johnnies. Oh. Oh, word. These are lowers, right? Front these are the lowers. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! So Josh basically got everything apart already or at least loose um so i believe this is the traction arm which he already took off uh these are all loose the upper control arm nut is already off pretty much everything is kind of prepped as well as on the front um so i think we're going to attack the front first we have to take off the tie rod end to the sway bar and the lower control arm he already took off the nut on the bottom of the lower control arm going to the knuckle. And then there is this bolt, which will need to be taken off. And this bolt that goes up and through to the chassis, which is also on the lower control arm. He has the coilover taken off, which he said that we're gonna slot the coilover top at. Um, the coilovers are already slotted. We might be slotting these out a little bit more as well as the top hat. From there, pretty much everything is gonna be brand new with the lower control arms because you're gonna be pushing out the bottom of the wheel so much. Uh, this is gonna be the same with if you're just extending your stock lower control arms. You're going to want to either extend your tie rod ends or get these adjustable tie rod ends. I know, I don't know many other brands. I didn't even know they made these for, I guess they make them for Subarus, but these are Racer X, high quality. So far at least, they're, they're super nice kind of on the pricey side but very pricey but These should be worth it for subarus the racer x front lowers um they're just to prevent axle binding at the front and allow you to get the correct toe because yeah, without these without those. You'd, you'd be towed in way too much to even drive it on big camber so yeah. that's what these are for and that's what the slotted top hats and coilovers are for when you do big camber we've had problems in previous videos you want to do lower control arm and upper control arm or lower control arm and coilover slash top hat camber you want camber from the top and bottom to prevent the axle from being overly binded basically what that means is if you get all of your camber from the top it's just going to smash the insides of the axle which are going to bind on each other and every time it rotates they're basically going to heat up and destroy axles if you get some from the top, some from the bottom, basically kind of stretches out the axle evenly to allow you to run the camber fine. So we're gonna start taking this apart real quick. If we run into any problems or find any easy solutions that might help you out at home, we will let you know. 
but sun is going down so figured we'd start attacking this and see how far we get what's up guys we got it out we got it out all right, um, before we throw these back on, Josh did make a solid point about kind of putting everything to OEM size and spec, and then once everything's on the car, adjusting it to where it's at. So what I'm doing right now, um, he also brought up that this end link actually goes out, adjusts out a lot further than the inner. So what I'm gonna do is um, basically max this out, and then this is maxed out now, cause it's off, um, and then put this on like, a thread put this on a thread and then adjust it from the middle so that once this is maxed out um, it, there'll basically be a happy median so that if he doesn't want to expand it as much as he possibly could want um, then both will have enough thread to hold on to I know it kind of doesn't make sense but basically taking this off taking this off gonna put this a thread on put this a thread on and then hold the hold it like this and adjust it from there so that it's yeah in the middle okay well we just took off the other side lower control arm we're getting it ready to set up but the food place is closed in a few so we are gonna run out and go grab some grub real quick maddie's on the way i think asante is finishing homework and gonna be bringing some springs the rear is almost together we're just gonna grab some food We'll throw the other side on and then we'll kind of figure out what the plan is with Asante coming over and you know what we want to attack next. All right, so we are going to leave off the night kind of with almost all of the arms on. We did replace all of the lowers and uppers for the rear as well as taking off the lowers in the front. The reason being, like I explained before, we have to take off the coilovers on the front and rear to slot the coilovers as well as change out all of the springs. Asante is not sliding by or at least he wouldn't be able to until later tonight. So Josh works this week as well as myself. We're going to come back on Friday. It's Monday now so you guys will probably be seeing this on the weekend and knock it out Friday night when we all are, you know, we don't have to go to work and stuff the next morning. So we're going to leave it as it is we got some decent progress nothing really kicked our butt and has gone smoothly so far we just are kind of we don't want to put everything together just to take everything back off and do it all again so i will catch up with you guys when friday comes and hopefully finish things thing off welcome back to another day we got the boy josh pulling up and it's kind of noisy out here, but I'm going to yell a little bit and hopefully you'll be able to hear. Today what we got going on, instead of slotting the top hats and coilovers at his house, we're going to do it here because I have a lot more tools and then go back to his house and hopefully throw everything back together. So the boy got the coilovers off and is ready to be negative 5,000, 100 million. Yeah, on the Prius actually. On the Prius? No, yeah. Actually, all of these arms were test fitting on the WX because yeah. it's the same as the Prius. Yeah. So it's like, yep. Well, let's get to it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to pull the coilovers out. Fit. What? What if we swap this? In that? Into that. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. I wanted to get one side done because I wasn't quite sure how long it would actually take to get these done. Uh, so as you can see, we have the right one on and it is maxed out. We have the left one on, which Josh actually ended up marking uh, where the top hat used to be on his car. So the hole on top of the top hat, which allows you to adjust all of these things, um, on most cars it's going to have basically somewhere where you can max out at. And so he, he took a, a Sharpie right here, kind of marked it on the trajectory of where these are going to slide. And from there, we kind of figure out where we're going to go. We didn't completely go all the way to the outside because he has lowers, slotted coilovers, and now slotted top hats. So that's lower control arm camber, um, kind of knuckle camber, and then also upper control arm camber, which is going to help with axle bind. But I loosened these up real quick to show you that it does slide back and forth no problem. Um, this is about where it's going to be for maxing out the stock top hat. And then what we did is you have an extra 
maybe three quarters of an inch, half an inch of adjustability. This is gonna give you up to about negative five-ish. So if you don't get lower control arms, but you are going to slot your coilovers, um, plug we did, I'll drop that link down below. We did Charles' car, so you guys can watch the process on that. But if you're gonna do uh, slotted coilovers for camber, I would also suggest, if you're not gonna do lowers, to also slot your top hats uh, to even out some of the camber from lower part and upper part, just for axle bind. And we are done. Just swept up all the metal shavings, but figured I would show you guys what we're cooking. So I finished with the slotted uh, coilovers. Remember, I got a video down below showing you exactly how to do that. But um, yeah, so that didn't take very long. Did it on both sides and then also with these slotted top hats. So all of this camber along with his lowers uh, theoretically should allow him to go up to like negative 25 uh, ish. And then I know he's not going to run that much yet. That's big boy. But yeah, so pretty much done here and then I think we're gonna go meet Vithi and Jose at Josh's house and throw all this stuff on so this this only took maybe an hour and a half kind of for everything yeah. uh, not too bad it is kind of tedious making sure that everything fits nice and all that but now we are out that shit fire fool that shit back yeah air out real quick yeah. you ever watch this thing <laughs> with that neon orange bass pro boy yo with the tag okay yo 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 dre say what's up to the vlog bro yo dre say what's up to the vlog <laughs> look at this perfect timing look who just pulled up Sheesh. Sheesh. on that note we are back working on Josh's Subaru, hopefully to get it out tonight. We don't have too much because the man himself was working on it some over the past week. Uh, we let off kind of halfway done uh, about a week ago and we're getting back into it. Sheesh, 20 minute sheesh video, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we plan on hopefully having it on the ground. We were going to wait for springs to get in, but because he is tucking, he's on 12K, which we know some guys that are super, super low on the 12K. Haven't had a big problem. We're gonna run those. Um, I did have to bring my drill because I'm slotting his coilovers just a little bit more. I needed them a bit angled down. And then we're gonna throw everything together, get it on the ground, align it and stuff. So, like you guys saw, we got the wheels. Got some stuff to help uh, route those out. He's got everything hooked up. We're putting the front coilovers back on. I gotta reslot the other coilovers. And then um, that should be about it. Wait, so can I get a soft patch, man? I don't know. Give me a hurry up before I bug out. Oh, I missed that. Hurry up. Yeah, he has it. I know he does. Come on, give it up. Oh, I thought it was funny. You thought this was the vlog? Fuck the vlog, man. That was a good one. Fuck up. I need to keep on that big ass camera. Who's just sitting there? Nah, we're not at Wicked, so. Tomorrow's on the floor. We're not at Wicked Wings. Josh, where'd you get this wing from? I thought these rooms. Uh, You're supposed to keep it up, bro. So I can <laughs> fucking come on. Alright, go ahead. We do it. We do it. I need a. See what I'm playing. Sheesh. The car is finally together. Josh tightened up uh, a lot of the stuff while we were gone. Had to go help Danny align his car and brought that. Um, so I'll throw a roller in. Actually, you guys probably already saw that. There's but we are about to throw the car on the ground. Um, we got a few lug nuts on each wheel. Once it's on the ground, we're gonna kind of see how the fitment and stuff is. Um, and then I will align it. We'll make sure all of the locking nuts on all the arms are tight and get this thing finally moving. So I think he's what, like negative 20 in the rear right now? It says negative 18 with the phone. 18 with the phone. The thing looks crazy. 17? Yeah, I think you're 17, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. What? Holy shit. It's okay. We'll, we'll, well it's still in the air, too. Yeah, that's it. Damn, I'm on the ground. Let me see this. 
Watch out, let me see this shit real quick. Chopping me for real. Let me see this shit real quick. Josh said, give me two hours. Poopy! I got it. Yeah, <laughs> seven, hours. seven hours later. I know, he popped out so Seven hours, seven weeks. Seven, seven months, bro. Hey! Let's you to go lower. My man's on the roof. Yo, Logan. Yo, a four seven bike Sheesh. light. Pop it up, pop it up. Sheesh. Woo! Hey. No, yes. bro. Yo. Gas pack. Gas pack. How are you feeling now that it's finally a garage queen? I mean, it? it looks nice, but can it roll? Okay. <laughs> Yo, Trey, hmm, stinky. Good question, bro. That's stinky, not me. Hmm, stinky. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's still running. Up. Stinky. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, if you would. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stinky. Yeah, if you would. Mm -hmm. You in charge of the vlog tonight? Mm -hmm. <laughs> This one's yellow, fuck me. Oh. Yo, we can ride with the top down? Huh? We can ride with the top down? Win. Why not? Yeah, we ride with the top. Turn it on. Nah. Yo, let me get some them. What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? What the fuck are you talking about? That was Addy's boat. I don't know. trying to line it. Yo, turn your lights off. Yeah, this side. Yeah, front's definitely out. Oh, the yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yo, this one's a little bit off. <laughs> <laughs> that side's dragging a tow line, so that front is towed out quite a bit. But we kind of align the rear. And they don't look too bad right now. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> see, you can tell that that front is towed out because you can see the lip in the barrel. Damn, bro. But yeah, right before the uh, sun goes down, we're gonna get this aligned real quick. On the way, we're gonna wash it and uh, start it going. So let me get to this and then uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Uh, hold up. Yo, Josh. Yo, where are we? Outside. Hey, man. Hobby Lobby, man. You know the vibes, man. You know the vibes, man. 
Just three grand, something simple. Yo! <laughs> Some light, some light, some light, some light, some. No. <laughs> nah, he's being really. Everything's really chill today. That's your boy. That's your boy. Oh, we were driving here. Some the officer? Down yeah. The yeah. Right. That was about a race, is that? Yeah? <laughs> the guy, oh, word, word. We outside with it today. You good, you good. A little drift missile, boy. So I trying to get my... Okay. Hey, guys. Yeah. Good job. Hey, he's stepping. Stop it. Stay, 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 bro. Stop it. Nice little park and chill. Honestly, it hasn't been too loud. I mean, the cops are still lined up all the way over there. Haven't messed with us quite yet, but I have a feeling it's gonna happen soon. All of us are kind of tired anyway, so if the cops pull out, we'll just dip out. You know what I'm saying? Yes. We are at Hobby Lobby, House of the Hobbies, Lobby of the Hobby. <laughs> um, oh, that shit hard. That shit, guys. Woo! Hey, the man of the vlog, the man of the night is out, bro. I just want to thank Mr. Octane and Zip Ties, because that man's about it. Yo, for real though, yo, shout out Logan, man. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him, bro. Shit, man, you made no me cap, cry. Bro. No cap. <laughs> Just like that, we out. A lot of the boys about to dip out as well. But the night is over, and we're going to head back home.